How you hey, doing? Kelsey. Kelsey. What's up? How you doing, Kelsey? I'm doing amazing. How are you all? We just chilling. Great. We just happy to be on the phone with Kelsey Nicole, the, right. the hottest thing on TV. Is that right? <laughs> Thank you. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, you know, if you are, you are what you are, right? Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that girl's a mess, I'm going to tell you. So, Kelsey, from what I know about you, this is Myron Grace. You got Rocky Thunder. You got Big Motor Boss. You got... You got hug love over here, crystal hug love. That's what I'm gonna call her, crystal, crystal hug, hug love. love. Yeah. <laughs> and so with the 17 million people listening to you almost, and 26 countries, 50,000 wow. locally almost. How did Kelsey Nicole? I heard something about you had a rap group with your sisters or something. I had a, 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 I'm sorry? A hip-hop group with your sisters or some singing group or so, something. That's how you started your career. No, I have never had a group with my siblings. I've always um, performed and pursued my career as a solo artist. Oh, as a solo artist. Okay, okay. So you started off pretty young, huh? I did. Um, I started performing at the age of seven. Um, after that, I did... Um, uh, local showcases here and there. Then I uh, did pageants, and for my talent in the pageants, I would perform. And um, then uh, I started pursuing it, you know, hardcore professionally uh, about four years ago. Um, so it's been a long time coming, but I'm well on my way. So I'm going to just tell you, they was going crazy over you on Facebook when I was posting your pictures up. Really? Uh-huh. Uh, and Big Mo's hair sweat. No, again. no, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> when his I'm, hair sweat, I'm that scared, means I'm something. scared to kill her. I'm scared to kill her. No, no, no. <laughs> uh-uh. He ain't doing that to me. You know I, mean? I like killer, and I'm going to stay liking him. Nah, he's a cool guy. Nah, nah. He might be your nah, killer. Nah, with your don't, even, don't even do it. Don't do it. Mm-mm-mm. Killer, man. But, um, yo, um, so I see you model. I, uh, yes, I do a little something. I see. <laughs> and what's a little something? I mean, you've been on Maximum, you've been on uh been on Ebony, where you been? Um I've done more um I've done a, a couple print opportunities for some small, very small publications, but I've done uh ads for small businesses in the past and I've also I did a lot of runway in the Midwest. Is that right? Uh, so yeah, that's um a little glimpse of my modeling career um yeah I, I it wasn't um the thing that was for me to pursue was the music for me so the modeling definitely got me um into some doors and shaking hands to kind of veer off into really pursuing the music so it, it's always been about the music for me you know, you know what i gotta be real i gotta give a shout out to jay Yo, yo, people, Jay uh-huh. and, and Erica Diaz. Got to give a shout out to Erica Diaz. Thank you. They you know. good people. I love them. Right, right, for sure. So, so Kelsey, so just just talk to us a little bit about like your show, VH1's Couples Therapy. What's that all about? Um, Couples Therapy is about um, celebrity. Um, couples going in to see the infamous Dr. Jen um, mm-hmm. in Beverly Hills to seek help in our relationships. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful experience. Um, definitely learned a lot about myself and, you know, learned about, a lot about us as a couple learn a lot about, you know, love and past experiences and how they affect our decisions and relationships today. Um, so it's, it's, it was, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a great thing, and I um, definitely had a wonderful experience. So I heard you was a shopaholic. <laughs> okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. Exactly. You know, a woman needs a little retail therapy. Retail therapy is good too. A couple of therapy is great, but retail therapy is good. Hey, man, is let me tell you something. I'm down. I'm I'm down with with a woman being happy. Oh, you say anything, yes. Big Mo? Wipe the sweat off your head. Oh my he is sweating hard. So I got it for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me ask you something. You purring like a kid. I'm just saying. If I, if, I, if I wipe the sweat off my head, can I say what I want to say? But my, my head went bald a little ball at the top, but mine ain't sweating right. like yours. Oh, my goodness. A little ball. <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, he still carries the hair around the sides like, you know. I'm a Dago. I'm a Dago. I like it. You know oh, what? Oh, boy. No comment. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Go ahead, So, um, no, nah, but, the, but the, uh, what else you get, you do other than modeling and, and, um, and, and your thing? But before we do that, Big Mo, I want to ask Kelsey Nicole, do she mind if I play her song Shopaholic? Because our show got it loaded up. Really? Uh-huh. I, is that the name of the song? Yes. I'm a fishing out oh, here. I I'm a fishing out here. I, I do right. what I do. All right, I know all that's right. right. I do what I do on the Midnight Hour radio show. Let's let them hear a little bit of Kelsey Nicole from VH1 Couple Therapy. Her song, <laughs> Shopper Call. I got my hair done, nails done. I'm a too fly. I got a brand new started felt for my life. They fit in real tight, just right on my side. Short or thin, five inches high. I got a fetish, I got a problem. When I see it in the window, I got a fire. I may regret it, but I gotta have a true religion. BC, BG, Apple bottom. I got a shopping problem, I'll admit it. I really gotta quit it. Once I start it, I couldn't stop it. I'm a dippy shopaholic, I'm a egg. When I get stressed out, my remedy is the mall. Gotta have this fast, those and everything on the wall. I don't care what the price, I don't look at the tag. If I want it, I gotta have it, just throw it in the bag. I got a fetish, I got a problem. When I see it in the window, I gotta buy young. I may regret it, but I gotta have them. Going on over here. No, no, you know what's up, Kelsey? How how you come up with that song, Shopaholic? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you be breaking them, don't you, Kelsey? Man, she's you be breaking them. You know that song is like three years old. I've just I've come so far since then. It's crazy to hear. It. I mean, but that song came about. Um, me and a friend of mine, Uh-oh. um, we went to the mall in Ohio. We were in Ohio one time for a show, and after the show, we went to the malls there, and we we went crazy. Where was y'all at in Ohio? Um, it was in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yes. Cincinnati. And we went to, we went to the mall there, and we went crazy. And after that, we had so much fun. It was it was so much fun. Just and it felt good. Um, so so after that, I just I, it inspired me to write that song. You know. So who <laughs> whose money you be spending like that? Um, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can you buy me? Oh, I'm just saying. Can you buy me? Can you buy me? <laughs> A pair of Jordan 23? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Her own money now. I know that's right. Women ain't about about getting that man's money. Yeah, I spend mostly my money. They love me because I got my own, okay? That's right. You heard that, Big Mo. You better better remember that while your hair is sweating, what you got to be responsible for. Uh, Wow. Are you talking to me? Yeah, not just a beat down, but you gotta have them. You better pet, you know, the shopping big ass American Express. <laughs> you know what, Kelsey? Yep. I ain't yes. gonna, I ain't gonna respond to that, but I'm gonna say this: when you go on Facebook, go to the shoe box. Okay. You are gonna see all the shoes that you like, fancy and stuff. It's a nice, oh. it's a nice. I, 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 oh, I like uh, <laughs> that sight because I like to see women wear them kind of stuff, man. Them shoes, different jewelry. Uh, it's it's a it's a wrap for me, bro. 
I'm trying to tell you something, girl. <laughs> I'm trying to go. If, if, if Faith see you, I'm telling you what's going to happen. <laughs> they see you in no, that stuff, you know girl. what? I agree because you can wear a very simple, sexy, you know, black dress, but the shoes and the accessory oh, can oh, make it look like yeah. money. It would make it look so I great. Yeah, Let me yes, tell you yes. and, and, and the thing is when y'all know how to walk in. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you got to not a walk in. Yes. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Well, yeah, so I'm, I'm, it seemed like our new guest host, Crystal Hugler, want to ask you a question. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, Kelsey. I just wanted to know, like, what other things do you do to inspire you to write music? Like, do you get into a zone? You have to be by yourself or you just walk around and see things that inspire you? Or is it certain methods you, know, you go through? You know, sometimes it, it can just be anything. I could be in my car writing in silence, and from the middle of outer space, this beautiful melody would come. And in the midst of humming that melody, you know, I don't know, like start, music, like a track or a melody can, if you surrender to it, it it'll put you in a certain mood. Not even hearing any words, but just hearing a certain just music. Like if you hear relaxation music when you're on YouTube, you know, trying to relax and you hear that music, it puts you in a mood. So just hearing certain melodies in my own head or just listening to a track, I surrender to that. And it and it, it, it takes me to a moment or a time and place in my life. And I'll write about that experience, you know, from that moment where that track or that melody took me. So that's kind of how I come about um getting my inspiration for the music that I have. Okay, well, well we know that, that you, Kelsey Nicole, VH1's Couples Therapy. We mm-hmm. also know that you are a hip-hop artist or a art recording artist, but we also know you as Ghostface Killer's girlfriend from uh, yeah, Wu-Tang exactly. Clan. And now we also know she wears some <clears throat> dynamic shoes, bro, and know how to walk in them, son. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Man, we know this oh, now. Boy. So we ain't going to ask you nothing, <laughs> nothing too juicy, but how's it been in a relationship with a rap legend like Ghostface Killer? You know, when it's when it's time for us to you know actually be together, it's beautiful. He's funny as ever, as most people know. <laughs> and, you know, he's, he's very, very caring, very given person. And, you know, it's... Us being very spiritual is what really connected us. You know, the music is what also connects us, too. We can share music. We listen to music. um, We we, we laugh. We joke. And the spiritual um, level that we're at is really what connected us. So we have a very great, great relationship, you know, very good friendship at that, you know, and that's that's very important. So and he be buying them Gucci's though. I'm just playing. That's just Hey, how long y'all been oh, together? Stop it. How long y'all been together though? It's been a, it's been about a year. Is that right? Yeah, a little over a year. That's good money. Mm-hmm. That's good money because that's a good start right there, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, oh, just... three months, six months, no, nah, that ain't the start. The start when you've right. been in it for a minute. Yeah. Right, now start. it's time to really, you know, just figure it out and see if we're ready and willing to, right. you know, really, really take it to another level. You know, that's what the therapy is all about for us, is, you know, trying to see if we're on the same page. And, you know, I'm sure you can make your own assumptions from the looks of things thus far, you know, uh, it being right past episode three. But, you know, that's what the therapy was all about, just after all this time, you know, it's been a year, and to take, you know, a year investing into someone, you you know, I think I, my heart and mind, that's enough time to kind of, you know, see where we're at to see if we're going to take it to another. To another right, level. right. Well, it seemed like he ain't complaining, so I ain't mad at hey, him. Hey, sure ain't. I'm telling you one thing. Look, oh, we looking at these pictures of y'all, right? Mm-hmm. And y'all look tight together, for real. I ain't Thank even you. Yeah, y'all do. So whatever y'all do, tell Ghost. Look. My heart belongs Shut to up, Tenderoni. She's my only love. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Wu Tang Clan and Ghostface Killer. No, that's not for Wu Tang Clan and them. They better than that. Look, you told Ghost, he better stick it out with you, for real. Don't make yeah, me come it. see him, man. For real. That's what everybody seems to that's be right. trying to do. Don't make me come see that, brother. Because I'm telling you, you're going to stay with her, or it's me and you. 
What's up? Put it on and make I mean, him want to marry me. Back, Put it on and make him want to marry me. Oh, man. Marry me. It's going to work out. That was, it's going to work out. That was for my girl, Rashida. That was for my girl, Rashida. As long as they got that connection. But, yeah, you're right. As long as, long as, long as it's the, spiritual connected. Because that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's the most thing that counts. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, this is Kelsey Nicole, VH1's Couples Therapy. Yeah. On, on the phone on the Midnight Hour radio show. You know, we got about five minutes left with you, Kelsey. We having such a ball with you. But we got to induct you into the Midnight Hour radio show. That's right. Okay. You know, <laughs> yeah, go this, ahead, start, this, this yeah. actually, like Rocky did this that, actually yeah. started with Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr., uh, the, yes, the fifth dimension. Yeah, they, they way back from the 60s on up. They still out there like that. Right. Yeah, and they still no. married, what, they 40 some odd years in marriage? Mm. Now, you repping ATL, ain't you, Kelsey? You know what? I'm actually repping that Midwest, but right now I am in the ATL house. Where are you from? I'm from Indianapolis. That's right. Woo-hoo! Okay. Oh. Shout out to Indianapolis and my people in South Bend. Yeah. I, that's where my people yeah. are in South Bend. You too? What? No. <laughs> Shout out to Jerome Sutton. <laughs> Jerome Sutton in South Bend, Indiana. Nice. Wow, that's that's good money because I've been in Indianapolis, yo. It's, it's, it's shout crazy. out to the Indianapolis Colts. Yes, shout out to them Colts and that, them Pacers. <laughs> that's a dangerous group of guys, yo. Shout out yeah. to the For real. Midnight Hour Radio. So we're gonna get back to your uh, to your induction. Okay, oh this this the deal. You get thirty seconds on the floor, just you, and you do what you want to do. You say what you want to say. Whatever it is that you might have wanted to say, or a rap, or a spoken word, or a song, whatever, for 30 seconds, you do good, you get the key to the studio, which means anytime you in Ohio, in Cleveland, on a Saturday night between 10 p.m. and 12 midnight, during the radio show of the Midnight Hour radio show, you can walk right in, or you call in, and you can get right on the air, boom, and we'll hold a little like small interview, or just say hi with you and all. And, and touch base with you. Rub elbows. Cool. You feel me? So yes. that's that's what's going to happen. So now you get ready to do your thing. 30 seconds. Okay. If you need a beat, let me know. <laughs> let me know. I'll give you a beat. Just tell me when. Okay. I'll, I'll give you a beat. Right now. Uh. This is, this is me, yeah. Your Midwest princess, Kelsey Nicole, DH1 Couples Therapy, The Blind Bomb. Make sure y'all hit me up at heykelsey.com on Twitter and Instagram, The Kelsey Nicole. And note, I spell my Nicole, N Y K O L E. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, The Kelsey Nicole. Hit me up on Facebook, Kelsey Nicole. Hit me up on YouTube. Check out my webisode, Eyes of a Dreamer, on YouTube. Search me, Kelsey Nicole. Okay. Good job. Okay, okay. Good job. Yeah. Right. Yo, say, you was on the, thing, you was on the one two <laughs> and the three and fours. Yo, oh, oh. You That's have officially up. been inducted. You're Welcome, to the Midnight Hello. Hour Radio <laughs> Show. Right. Now, right. You're yes. official now. You're in the right. studio <laughs> thing. You know what I mean? So anytime, you know what I mean. You can walk up in here, call. We in. We in. Again. Oh. Yeah. I'm excited. Kelsey Nicole, VH1 Couples Therapy, representing Indianapolis, but by way of Atlanta, Georgia. Yep. Yeah. Shout out shot. again to Jay and Erica Diaz. Yes, JCM, JC Management, Erica the B-Firm. Like, <laughs> Yo, let me B-firm. ask you something, though, Kelsey, real quick. Will you get mm-hmm. that? You know... I like the what? way you say that. Every time you say, every time he asks you a question, you go like, you know. Well, you know. <laughs> That's cool. Where you getting that from? Huh? Where I get that from? Yeah. I I don't know. Um, that sounds like, that sound like that would be a New York thing. It, you know, it, you know. See, see there you are. It just there might you be. Right there. <laughs> there it go. just might be. That's what's up. That's what's up. No, you know what, though, Kelsey? We had a ball with you tonight. Yeah, we did. We want we did. you to Definitely. come back sometime when you do something else with your career. But once again, world, Cleveland, Atlanta, 26 countries. Some of the countries I'll let you know is England, France, Germany, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Jamaica, Egypt, Colombia, 
Hello, Ru- world. Russia. Yes. Russia. <laughs> yo, we on six continents, yo. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, so that's six continents of people listening to you right now, yo. Well, hello. You six continents me? of people. Yeah. Hello. Woo! I love you all. Hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, man. So that's, that's what's up. You uh, you out there now. You out there. Yeah. You, you definitely got to represent. You, rep- you got to represent now, yo. No, oh, thank you, Kelsey. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we really. had yes. a ball with Kelsey Nicole. You sure did. bh ones Couples there. Yeah, good morning. Yes, good morning. Yes, Shout yes, out yes, to y'all. Sir. The midnight hour. Thank you. Shout Absolutely. out to y'all. Absolutely. That's Shout right. out back. You know what I'm saying? That's right, Kelsey. Yeah. Thanks. So one love. Two times. Always. Hug love. All right. Hey, yes, bro. God bless y'all. Have a good night. Hey, you too. You too. You good too, night Kelsey. and don't sleep too hard. I, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> don't, tell, yeah, tell I, Ghostface I, Killer, don't shoot more. It's all right. Oh, it's, all, all happened was his head, Sean. That's all. <laughs> That's it, Ghost. I ain't do nothing else, Ghost. I promise. All right. I'll make sure of it. Make sure you wipe that sweat off, okay? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, I got I it for you, Kelsey. Yeah. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> good night, y'all. Good night. All right. All right good night. <laughs> You know what? We had a ball on the Midnight Hour radio yeah, show. Yeah, that's good money, But man. you know yeah. what? 